I've been having people tell me I need to take a look at Django template partials. So I finally did. And honestly, up until this point, I thought this was just about creating different components and then including them into my Django templates. Well, turns out the idea is actually quite different. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the original inspiration behind this and then the documentation. And I'll actually try to implement this into my own Django application. So I have a little demo project worked up and we're just going to go through this together. So this is the post that kicked everything off, and this was made in June 2023 by Carlton Gibson, an original contributing member to the core Django team. So Carlton, I believe at this point, is not a member of the team anymore, but he did create this package, and here's kind of the inspiration. We'll just read parts of this, and I'll just pick it apart here. So Carlton posts, I'd like to begin a discussion about adding in some kind of inline partials or template fragments feature into the Django templating language. The basic idea is that you can reuse parts of a template when just updating a part of a page per se. Currently, the Django templating language requires moving reusable fragments in, into an include or a template tag, which is great in many cases, but can be very heavyweight certainly to begin. So right now with Django, you can create a template or like a component in its own HTML file, and then you can use the include tag to bring it in. So the idea here is a little bit different. So being able to define these partials in line, given better locality of behavior, a concept which is discussed in this essay here on the HTMX site. Uh, let's look at that. So the idea is to be able to make these components right within a template here. So let's open this up. And locality of behavior basically just means your code is able to be read right within line. So there's this comparison where you have this Ajax request and you have your code in one file. So here you make a request, then you have a button. This is in another file and this code is separated. So now you have two files where you have to understand both of those in order to understand how this request works. Locality of behavior. This is an HTMX comparison where all of the code is read right here. You can see exactly what's happening. That's the core idea. With a template partial, you're able to create it in line, understand what's happening. Whereas if you create it as a separate component, which isn't bad, but it's also in another file and requires you to understand both of those. So this is what Carlton is trying to change up here. Carlton writes, I'll write up further thoughts, but I just want to note two points for now. There's a similar package called Django render block that's in play, but I wanted partials to be reusable within a single template, which blocks are not. So Django render block, apparently you cannot reuse these partials. And Carlton also posts, I integrated this with a template loader. So bar changing a template name, it's transparent to the view layer, which means not rewriting code. So the rest of this is just a long thread and discussion of feedback ideas that people had. And the original idea was to add this into Django 5.1 and that didn't work out. It ended up being its own third party package. So first let's just imagine we have this index.html file. If we have some items, items on a page, let's say we just like built out parts of our page. We want to add in some kind of header, then a sidebar. And let's say we want this to be some kind of component. This right now, at this point, we would create this as its own component. And let's just call this right underscore side dot HTML. So if we want to bring this in, we can simply grab this component and bring this into our page. And the way you would do this is by simply using the include tag. And this is now available in the template by simply calling it like that. So the concept here is to create a component in its own file separate from our template and then bringing it in. With the Django template partials, we're gonna change this concept up a little bit. So let's say again, we build a page here and we just wanna make sure that we have our components on it. And then once we complete the page, we say, okay, hey, I wanna reuse one of these components. I wanna reuse maybe this sidebar right here. So this same right sidebar, we now want this available in another page. So let's say we have another page called uh, about.html. Let's just separate this. So if we want this component to be available within about.html, we can do that, but we don't necessarily have to create it in its own component. What we could do is simply wrap this in a partial, and then this component can actually be extracted from this page and into our other page here. So now we can take any one of these components, as long as we wrap it in a partial, we can now bring it to other pages. So the difference here is that on one end, we are creating components and putting them into a page. 
On the other end, we're simply making these components reusable and then dragging them into other pages. So both of these work great in combination, but that's the core idea behind Django template partials. So let's get started by doing a quick review of the readme file and actually see how this actually works and how we can use it. So first of all, we can add this with a pip install. We add this into our installed apps. That's simply template partials there. And then what we could do is load in the partials tag and any component that we build out, we wrap it in this tag here. So we call partial DEF, and then we give the partial a name, and then any content within here is now accessible by that partial name. So if we ever wanna use this, we can simply go ahead and reuse the fragment by calling partial and then a partial name. And that now is accessible in any file anywhere we want. Now we can also, load this or render this out in some kind of view. So if we wanna return a view, let's say we want to simply return a partial. This is gonna be great with HTMX. We're gonna demo this. We don't have to return the exact page here. We can return the partial within the page within a view. And we'll do this with a function based view just to make that easy to understand. We can also include a partial using the include tag in any other page that we want. So the idea is the same where we add in a template, but then we simply use a selector and then throw in the partial name. And now this is available anywhere. One of the things that I really liked about this is the fact that we can actually create and render these partials in line. So in the example above, we create the partial and then we can use it elsewhere in our page. But I wanna be able to write my code and keep it structured and make sure that I can simply add in this inline tag and make that usable anywhere I want. And if we don't wanna use the load partials tag at the top of the page, which I definitely don't wanna to have to rewrite that every time, we can simply add this into the options section within settings.py and that allows us to make this available globally within all of our templates. So to test this out, I created a simple application here where I just have some profiles and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these components here into partials. Anytime I click on a specific profile, I'm taken to a profile page. And right now I just render out a username. And in this case, we're gonna reuse the partial inside of another page. So if I click on Dennis Ivy, when I click on this, I should see the Dennis Ivy profile component right within this page. So we're gonna learn how to reuse this in another page. And then at the end of this, we're gonna try a few tricks and we'll actually use this with HTMX so we can kind of see how all of this flows. So let's kick things off by first installing the package and then we're just gonna do a little configuration. So this is gonna be Django template partials. And once we have that installed, we can just go ahead and clear that. And within my settings.py file, this is where we can just go ahead and add in template partials. So once that's added, I can now use my partials within a template. So before we go any further, I need to go ahead and load partials in here. So we're gonna call load partials. So this allows us to actually create partials within our template. Now, let me just go ahead and move this to the left here. So we actually have some space and the partial that we're gonna create is in this for loop. So we render out all of our profiles here and I created this div for every single profile card. So we're gonna make this a dynamic partial here. So in order to create a partial, we can use the tag here and we're gonna call partial DEF and we're gonna give this a name. So we're gonna call this profile card like that. So we have a partial name and then we just have to go ahead and close this tag. So we can close it by calling end partial DEF and that closes it. Now, if we wanna add a name just to make this a little bit more readable, we can. At this point, I see the opening part of my partial, I see the end of it and that should do. Now there's one small problem here and I wanna show you what this is. Now, if I go ahead and open up my page here, we're not gonna see any of those actual components here. What's the issue? Well, in theory, we're supposed to create this partial and then we can render it out. And in order to actually render out the partial, we can just maybe render it out after like this. So let's just say uh, we want to call the partial. We can use it like this. So partial and then profile card. And then we can just render it out like that. Now that doesn't really look too good because I can in theory, use this anywhere in my components. So I can render this out as many times as I want, and that's just gonna create a bunch of components here. That works, but instead, I want to do an inline render. So inline render means that I can create a partial, and I can render it out immediately without calling anything extra other than inline like that. So now that's gonna make my partial available, and that just looks so much cleaner. Now, what about using this partial in another page with the include tag as we saw? Well, in order to use this, let's go ahead and go into our profile page. And remember, in our profile page, 
Let's go ahead and open up Frank the Tank. We just see the username. Now in the profile page, all we're doing is rendering out the name and let's use the include tag here and actually render out this partial. So we do the same thing. We do include. Now we don't have a component. So instead, this is kind of the cool part here. We can simply do index.html because that's where my partial's at, but I don't want to render the whole page. What I want to do is render out that specific partial and this is profile card. And that's all we do. We use a selector, we render out the profile card, and that should make this partial available. Look at that. Just like we created another component, we can now use the partial within the template. Now, I wanna take this one step further. If we're using HTMX, if you happen to use HTMX, you'll notice that in my other tutorials, if you've seen any of those, I render out partial components in order to actually update the UI with those. Now. In here, what I'm going to do here is actually just render out a partial in a view. So let's just create a test profile page. I'm going to create a new function and we'll call this test uh, profile. And we're going to return a simple partial here. So we'll do return, render, and then we'll just create the standard function. And if I want to return that profile card, I can simply call index.html. And this right here, I love. This is where it's going to be so fun with HTMX. I can simply call profile card and render this out. So if I need to pass in some context, I do need the profile. So let's just go ahead and grab this. I'll paste this in. And for simplicity, I'll just say, give me the first profile. And we're gonna pass this in with the context dictionary because we still need that in the partial. And then that's now gonna be available in there. Now, just to finalize this, I do need to create a view for this. So let's just go ahead and use the same name as we did for the function. We'll call views dot and then the function name. And let's just test this out. So let's go to forward slash test profile. And now look at that. We have a view. It's returning a partial. And we're simply able to do that by rendering out the partial from that specific component. So it, the idea is quite impressive to me, actually. Like I feel more excited about it than I probably should, but simply because I've tried to really work around using those components, and this idea is just so freaking cool to me. Now, before we get to the HTMX stuff, I actually wanna make sure that inside of our pages, we don't need to load in partials every single time. So let's just go ahead and get rid of this, and I'm gonna refresh the page just to make sure that it actually breaks it so we can see it not working. And if we load this, we can see that we can't use partial def because we have not loaded the tag yet. So instead, what we could do, instead of loading partials every single time, we can add this inside of settings.py and add this into the options dictionary. So let's just go ahead and update this. And now anywhere inside of our application, we should be able to use it. So this is within my settings file. We'll scroll down here and options is right here. So let's just go ahead and throw this in. So built-ins, Django template partials, We'll minimize that and let's go ahead and give that a test. So now when I refresh it, everything works exactly how it's supposed to be. So for the next step here, what we're gonna do is actually use some HTMX. I already have this in my application, but I wanna use that partial page rendering to work with a partial because I am gonna use this in my future projects and I just wanna demo this for you. So inside of base here, we're gonna go into views and I have this counter page. I created a model here. We just get the first one, it's called counter and we simply render out the current count. And this is simply an integer that we update. And then when we send a put request with HTMX, we simply return counter updated. And we're gonna use a partial from the current page to actually return the new count. So let's go to forward slash count here. And in this page, this is my counter. So we'll just go ahead and click on this button. So when I click on it, it updates the count, but right now it's only returning counter updated. So what I wanna do is actually return this entire section here. So if we open up that template, inside of my template, we can see that in the counter, we have this H3 tag with the ID of count. Here we send the request, and then we just wanna simply return this little section here again with the updated count. So what are we gonna do here? Well, we're just gonna go ahead and create another partial. So let's just go ahead and wrap it here. So we're gonna call this partial DEF and we're gonna call this count and then we're gonna end the partial. End partial DEF. And now what I can do is go into this view and I'm gonna return this section. So it's called count. And here we're gonna, to, we're gonna change this to return render and this is going to be request and we're just simply going to get counter.html and we want to return 
count. And now I can pass in the count via context dictionary. So we'll throw that in. We'll take this counter and that's going to be available. So this is where partials with HTMX just work so well together. So we'll make sure that's saved. And now if I refresh this, so we forgot one thing. The partial needs to be in line. So the reason why we're not seeing it is because we didn't call in line. So we never actually initiated it. Now when I refresh it, let's go ahead and update that and look at that. So we're performing an Ajax request. We're updating it. And in the response, we're simply returning back this section of this exact template. So that's it for now for Django partials. I really enjoyed it. I just got into the documentation today, gave it a test, and I can absolutely see how I can make my applications a little bit more flexible with this, especially with HTMX. So if you learned something, if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a like, and I'll see you all in the next video.